Hero gets a great pass. Oh, he's coming into the box. What is he doing? What is he doing? Oh, he tries a pass. I have no idea what he was doing. He should have just shot that. Oh my God. Pardo makes an absolute boneheaded decision there. Teddy Bailey is going to start slapping people in the locker room. I'm telling you. What is happening good people of YouTube and welcome back to the Overly Gaming Project. Today's video we are back here FIFA 22. This is the Youth Academy Career Mode featuring your Bristol Rovers and we are here season two. This is episode number three. We are in the month of September and in this episode we are going to go through the entire month of September and let's get right into it. Wasting no time jumping right in the beginning of the month we have a Youth Academy development report back got a couple of things that are worth looking at alexander dobson 15 years old look at that potential 79 to 94 he's only 50 overall rated but man that potential is great and he's only 15 can't come into the team we're going to hold on to him probably for the whole season and then maybe next season he can come in and dominate at that center defensive midfield position who knows he could help tommy winter out there in the middle only time will tell abraham moyoyo's potentials evened out enough 74 to 80 we know where he's going to land his potential his peak potential is going to be somewhere in the upper 70s he's 16 years old 57 overall he is growing pretty well here in the academy he's got great physical stats great pace everything else defending dribbling passing and shooting right around that 50 mark and what we're doing with Mr. Moyoyo is we are going to change his position to a center midfielder. Just given all of those stats, shooting, passing, dribbling, defending are all kind of even. We're just going to make him a center midfielder. And now he's not going to be an outstanding superstar player for the Bristol Rovers. So we are just going to make him a nice backup. So as soon as this seven weeks passes and he becomes a center midfielder, we'll probably bring him into the first team and he can serve as a nice backup option in that center midfielder role. And same thing here with Mika Bikanic. 82 to 88 is his potential. It's narrowed down enough where we know he's probably going to be in the mid to upper 80s for his overall potential here. 16 years old. He's 60 overall rated right now. So he's probably got some sort of status. If we brought him into the first team, we could see that. But what we are going to do with Bikanich is we are going to change his position as well. Bikanich has some really good pace, really good physical stats. Shooting, passing, dribbling, defending, all kind of in the uh, mid to upper 50s dribbling 61 I think with his pace and his physical skills we're going to move him out on the left side as a left winger it's only going to take about two weeks once that transition happens we're going to revisit him see if that overall jumps up a little bit and maybe he can come into the first team to help us out on the left side and this guy, Renato Ribeiro, 17 years old. He's only 51 overall rate right now. He's a striker at six foot two. That potential, 76 to 94, is absolutely awesome. Can't wait to see how he keeps growing here in the Youth Academy. And as it's the beginning of a new month, we do have some new youth scouting reports back. Elijah Barnes is back from Brazil, and he has brought us nothing. <laughs> I mean, the best thing was Dennis Cruz, 16 years old. That overall, 37 to 49. No thanks. Not even going to waste our time. Rejected. Malenko Zorc has brought us back two potential players here. Maxim Mano, 17 years old, 44 to 60 overall. Potential 66 to 90. He's 5 foot 8. Not sure where he's going to be playing here. Somewhere maybe in the midfield or defensive role. Let's bring him into the academy and take a closer look. And also from the Ukraine, Milenko Zorch has brought us back Alexander Lyshenko, 16 years old, 49 to 67 overall rated, potential 76 to 94. He's six foot tall, big Ukrainian right here. Matty Ice is going to be happy with this one. Let's take a closer look in the academy. Oh, and here's a good sign. As we go to sign him in the academy, you can notice his value is $2.2 million already at 16 years old. Man, let's take a closer look at this guy in the academy. And Jackson Hargreaves back from England has brought us nothing. Ibrahim Knight and Brandon Benson potentials are absolutely awful. 
We're not even going to take a look. Rejected. Wow, taking a look here. Alexander Leshenko, 16 years old. He's already 62 overall rated player, 76 to 94 potential. An absolute superstar this guy's going to be. I've just got a great feeling about it. He's got great physical and defending skills. Listed as a center defensive midfielder. He's got good pace, good dribbling, good passing. Not very good at shooting, but that's okay. Big Ukrainian right in the middle of the field. That is awesome. Now we could bring him right into the first team, but I do want to have him sit maybe for a couple months. Let's get him used to the squad and how things work around here. Let's see if we can narrow down that potential just a little bit. And then we will bring him in probably somewhere mid-season. See if he can't make a big difference for us. Alexander Lysenko. That's awesome. And here's Maxim Mano. He's listed as a right back, great physical skills, great pace, defending only a 50, but that's okay. His overall rates of 53, 66 to 90 potential. He's 5'8", not the biggest right back in the world, but that's fine. Let's leave him in the academy too. He's 17 years old. We'll leave him in there and let's just see how his potential shapes up. All right, so we got our youth scouting reports back. Got a couple players we brought into the academy one is absolutely going to be a superstar. I just know it. Teddy Bailey knows it. Everybody knows it. You know it. I know it. I mean, everybody knows it. And that brings us to our first match of the month of September against Wigan Athletic. Wigan Athletic currently sitting sixth on the table with 11 points. Bristol Rovers in 10th place with 10 points. Going to be a battle out on the field. Let's take a look at the squad. All right, it is our default squad. Ethan Allen starting up top in the striker role. Pardo in the cam role behind him. Out on the left side, it's Illich. And on the right side, little Prince Nkrumah. In the middle, Nathan Moody as our center midfielder. And Tommy Winter as our center defensive midfielder. On the back line, Adwama on the left side. Elbasir and Stefferson holding down the middle. And Ababio out on the right side. And in between the sticks, as usual, it is Andreasen, the Bond villain. Let's get out on the field. Take on Wigan. All right, an overcast day out here on the pitch. And that's fine. As long as it's not raining, we're good. Bristol Rovers taking on Wigan Athletic at Memorial Stadium. Another home match here. Season number two, and here comes your Bristol Rovers out on the field. Let's go. All right, these boys are fired up and ready to go. Wigan's kicking off. Here we go. Bristol Rovers, Wigan Athletic, Memorial Stadium, EFL League One. Let's go, boys. Oh, my God. Adewama got absolutely toasted there on the outside. Wiggins cutting inside, passing the top of the box, coming inside the box. Our defense isn't doing anything, and there's a shot that goes way outside. Oh, my God, what the hell is that guy doing with his life? And there's Teddy Bailey saying, what the hell is that guy doing with his life? All right, well, Wigan off to a poor start. They had an opportunity there in the box, couldn't capitalize on it. What a bunch of doofuses. Winter. Oh, there's Tommy Winter finding some space. Oh, he's going to play a great through ball. Oh, my God, it's Illich. Oh, and he can't get there. Jones, the keeper for Wigan, comes out and takes the ball right from his feet. Oh, there's a good header. Oh, Tommy Winter's got the box. Tommy Winter gets possession in the box, top of the box. Allen. Allen's going to play a ball. Oh, Pardo's offside. Oh, my God, you have got to be kidding me. What an absolute comedy of errors there as Bristol Rovers gets possession. And look at our players they're way off sides no idea what we're thinking passing the ball at that moment oh my god oh there's Ababio finding some space down the side oh he's gonna play a great ball it's Allen Allen tries to fight into the box he comes into the box what can he do he takes a shot oh and it's in the top corner Ethan Allen with some fancy footwork to fool the keeper as he switches his feet right inside the box and strikes it in the top corner. Everybody's tackling him, doing a pylon. I don't even know what that is. And there's their keeper looking very, very disappointed. He's going to have to explain this one to his mama. Let's take another look here. Ethan Allen in the box, switches foot. Bam! Right into the top corner. Take a look at it from this angle. That keeper right there, you can see the keeper just poops himself, falls down. Wow. What a strike by Ethan Allen. There's Teddy Bailey. He's screaming, saying, ah! ah! Ethan Allen, a goal in the 21st minute. It's his second goal in the last six matches. And he's starting to find his feet here in EFL League One. All right, Bristol Rovers up 1-0 here in the middle of the first half. 
Can we continue the, with this lead? Let's go, boys. Oh, there's Illich. Gets the ball. Turns. Burns his man. He's screaming down the field. Does he have any help in the box? He should. He crosses it in. Who's there? Oh, Ethan Allen goes up for it. Pardo. Deflection. Prince Nkrumah. Oh, he gets a deflection off his chest. A keeper grabs it. Oh, so exciting right there in the box. Wow. Oh, boy. Now Wigan beats us on the side. Oh, Wigan playing the ball. Top of the box. There's a shot. And oh, my God. What the hell was that? Holy crap. There is no way that just happened. Wigan takes the ball, great pass, and he just lays a little blooper kind of shot. I don't know whether Andreessen was asleep, he had his finger in his butt. I don't know what he's doing, he's daydreaming. Take another look at this. This is absolutely awful to concede a goal like this. That's just an absolutely weak shot. Andreessen just wasn't ready. A right-footed shot. Andreessen's right there, Could should have been an easy save. He falls down too late, gets a finger on it, and there's Teddy Bailey. Oh, and he's pissed. But he's saying, come on, boys. Just like that, Wigan Athletic ties it up one to one. Can Bristol Rovers recover here? Let's hope so. Oh, my God. Oh, look at that defense. Bristol Rovers once again. Great defensive work there to stop the attack from Wigan. And Wigan is pressing. And we are going to have to clear this ball. And, oh, look at this. Look at this. Pardo. Pardo gets a great pass. Oh, he's coming into the box. What is he doing? What is he doing? Oh, he tries a pass. I have no idea what he was doing. He should have just shot that. Oh, my God. Pardo, an absolute boneheaded play there right at the end of the half. And there's the whistle. Holy moly. We're going to go into the locker room. 1-1. One, one. Pardo makes an absolute boneheaded decision there. Should have just shot it past the keeper. Teddy Bailey is going to start slapping people in the locker room. I'm telling you. All right, second half getting underway here. Bristol Rovers uh, missed some opportunities there right at the end of the first half. And it is all equal. One to one here at Memorial Stadium. Can we come ahead and secure three points here in EFL League number one? Let's go, boys. Pardo now passes out to Illich. Illich is going to turn and burn his man. Now Illich has a ton of space. Screaming down the side of the field. Can Bristol get in position to help him out here? He's going to come almost to the touchline. Cross it over. Who's there? Oh, Nathan Moody strikes it. Goalkeeper saves it. He turns around the box. Shoots it again. It's deflected over the touchline. And wow, what a series of events here for the Bristol Rovers as we're going to get a corner kick. Hey. Did it go to the left side or right side? R left side? I thought it went around. No, no, it went around. Did it go this way or that way? Oh, who cares? What? Now, Edawama, he's going to stop, look at some options. Oh, he's got some options to burn his man there. He's going to lay it off now, Nathan Moody. Nathan Moody coming in top of the box, takes a shot, and what the hell was that? Nathan Moody took a shot, and I'm not sure if he was shooting at the goal or whether he was shooting at the cameraman standing behind the wall. Now we're going to out wide. Oh, Adewama makes a great play. Passes it to Illich. Illich once again, nobody challenging him. He's all alone out here on the left side. And look out. Oh, he's going to lay it off. It's Ethan Allen. Ethan Allen comes into the box no! to the touchline. He can't stop the ball from going out. What an absolute idiot. And Teddy Bailey's looking at that, and he said, Man, Ethan Allen, you got to come out of the game, and we are going to do some substitutions here right now. Ethan Allen coming out, the Dragon coming in, and Charlie Moss coming in in the cam roll for part O. Get some fresh legs in there on the offense. And Ethan Allen, that was absolutely awful. Oh, we are in the stoppage time. Wigan Athletic trying to put something together here in the last couple minutes of the game. We have got to stop him here. Oh, and there's a play that runs right in the box, unchallenged. Takes an awful shot there. Easy save for Andreasen. Wow, and our defense just let that guy right through. And look at that great save, diving, stretched out save by Andreasen. And he's saying, hey, defense, why don't you try to help me out a little bit, you bunch of jerks? All right, here we go. Goal kick. Start from the back here. Can the Bristol Rovers drive down the field and the time runs out? Looks like we're going to end this match in a draw. One to one, Bristol Rovers, Wigan Athletic. Great match all around. And there's Teddy Bailey. He's got his arms folded. He didn't think it was such a great match. A couple of errors made, a couple of boneheaded plays, a couple of opportunities missed here by your Bristol Rovers. Ugh. All right, Ethan Allen's going to get the man of the match with a 7.5 rating. He did have the game's only goal, assisted by Abba Bio. 
Illich had a 7.2, Andreasen solid 7.0, and check it out, Pardo, Adewama, Stephenson, Tommy Winter, and Elbasir all had a rating of 6.9. <laughs> that is awesome. All right, let me know in the comments down below who is your man of the match for that match. And taking a look at the calendar, we've got a midweek fixture here against the Bolton Wanderers. And then we have Fleetwood Town coming up a few days after that. It's going to be a tough stretch here. Going to have to use some of these subs. Now I'm going to play these games, only show some select highlights and then we will have extended coverage of the last match of the month with Crew Alexandra. And let's get through this right now. All right, Bristol Rovers versus Bolton Wanderers. Let's take a look at the squad. All right, quick overview of the squad. These are some of our substitutions that have been put in here. We have got our favorite striker, Kuntz. Up top, Moss filling in in the cam roll. Out on the left, Illich taking a break. We got Brooks stepping in there on the left side. Little Prince Nakruma, stamina is not an issue for him. We're going to keep him out on the right side. Newton's going to step in in the center midfielder role. And Innocent Digbo, our center defensive midfielder here, giving Tommy Winner a break. Backline pretty much stays the same. Ababio out on the left. Elbasir and Stefferson in the middle. And on the right side, we've got Hurst coming in. Going to give a rest to Aduama. In between the sticks, as usual, it is Andreasen. Let's get on the pitch and take on the Bolton Wanderers. All right, a beautiful night out here on the pitch. Sanderson Park, Bolton Wanderers hosting the Bristol Rovers. All right, Bristol Rovers getting ready to kick things off here. Let's go, boys. He's going to lay it off. It's Moss. Moss coming top of the box. Takes a shot. It's deflected over the goal. Wow. And Teddy Bailey's like, hey, let's kick it in the goal. Son of a bitch. Oh my God, Newton getting a shoulder to the face. That's definitely a penalty. Oh, Moss turning and burning his man. He's got space, splits the defenders, takes the ball. He's shoulder to shoulder, takes a shot. Oh my God, the goalkeeper gets a hit on it, goes right in the net. What a goal, Moss. Wow, shoulder to shoulder with the defender into the box. Now he's running on the grass. What the hell's he doing? I have no idea. Charlie Moss. First goal in seven matches. That's awesome. One to nil, Bristol Rovers. Oh, plays a great ball. It's Kuntz. Kuntz in the box. Kuntz takes a shot. No, it's out wide. Oh, my gosh. And there's Teddy Bailey saying, damn you, Kuntz. Oh, Charlie Moss turns and burns his man. He's coming into the top of the box again. What's he doing? Oh, he's trying to do some fancy footwork. He's pushed backwards. Oh, now he comes back in. Nobody's on him. Takes a shot. Oh, he gets the ball deflected back. Oh, it's deflected into the goal. Oh, oh my God. I don't know if that's going to be an own goal or whether it's going to be credited to Moss. And he is dancing. Look at him. Standing on his head. Wow. Two to nil. Bristol Rovers over the Bolton Wanderers. And how in the hell did that just happen? Take a look here. Boom. Right off of the defender's knee. Oh, man. That is unlucky for Bolton. And that is a low kick. And oh, a shot coming in. Andreasen. Able to make the save as time runs out in the first half. Wow. Score two to nil. Bristol Rovers above the Bolton Wanderers here, going into the changing room. All right, second half kicking off here. Two to nil. Bristol Rovers over the Bolton Wanderers. Let's go, boys. Corner here. Swept in. Oh, what a header. Oh, my God. That was an absolutely class strike by Baka Yoko. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Oh, wow. Two to one. We have got a match on our hands here. Let's go, boys. Moss dumping it off to Newton. Newton takes a step. Oh, he's on it. He's going to dribble it in. Oh, and a little blooper by the keeper. Oh, Newton with a goal here. Bristol Rovers going up three to one. And speaking of one, there's some one-handed push-ups right there by Newton as uh, his teammates come and push his face right in the dirt. Oh, my God. All right, another corner here for Bolton Wanderers. Ball swooped in, middle of the box. Oh, it's a header, wow. Bolton Wanderers with their set pieces are absolutely on fire today. <laughs> there is another absolute banger right in the top corner. And it's Williams with the header. Three to two, it's gonna be the score. We are at the end of stoppage time and that is it. Ref's gonna blow his whistles, three to two. It's going to be the score as the Bristol Rovers beat the Bolton Wanderers. And there's Teddy Bailey's waving to everybody saying, hey, how y'all doing?
Well, take a look at player performance. I mean, story of the game, Andreas has made some amazing, amazing saves. He gets the man of the match here with a 9.6 rating. Charlie Moss, one goal, one assist. James Newton, also one goal and one assist. Charlie Moss with an 8.5 rating. Newton with an 8.3. Overall, a really good showing by Moss, Newton, and Andreas. And everybody else is kind of average. And let me know in the comments down below, who would your man of the match be? All right, next game comes only a few days later. It's Fleetwood Town against Bristol Rovers. Let's check out the squad. All right, taking a look at the squad for this match. We are back with our default squad here. Ethan Allen starting up top. Charlie Moss is getting the nod for the cam roll. Now we're going to have to watch his stamina going forward, but his play has been absolutely awesome. He is going to move into the starting spot here in the cam roll for this time being. Illich back out on the left side. Prince Nkrumah out on the right. In the middle, Nathan Moody as a center midfielder. Tommy Winter as our center defensive midfielder. And on the back line, Adewama back out on the left. Loverich coming in as our center back. Stephenson also in the center back role. We're going to have to watch his stamina in this game. And Avabio out on the right side. And as always, in between the sticks, Andreasen. The Bond villain. All right, here we go. Overcast day out here in Memorial Stadium. Bristol Rovers taking on Fleetwood Town. Going to bring you some quick highlights of this match. And don't forget, now's a great time to ask yourself the question of the day. Are you subscribed to the Overly Gaming Project? If the answer is no, stop what you're doing right now and contemplate what you're doing with your life. And then subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so that you're notified of all the content coming out. And if you like this video, hit the like button and leave a comment down below. Doesn't even matter what you say. All right, Bristol Rovers kicking off here against Fleetwood Town. Let's go, boys. Oh, my God. Fleetwood Town comes right into the box. And it's Garner. And he just rockets a shot right past Andreas, and I have no idea what our defense is doing. Holy crap. Holy moly. We have got to do better. All right, quickly down 1 0. Bristol Rovers got to come back. Let's go, boys. Prince Nakruma now with some space on the side. He burns his man. He's the only one in the box. He's going to play it in the middle. Oh, and Allen's there. Little chipper, and he passed the keeper. What a goal! Prince Nkrumah screaming down the sideline. There's a flip from Ethan Allen. Wow, what a strike here to even things up. One to one, Bristol Rovers, Fleetwood Town. Equalizer. He's going to play a great pass. Nathan Moody in the box. Takes a shot and it's out wide. Oh my God. I think Nathan Moody might need to go see the team optometrist as that shot was way outside. There's Teddy Bailey saying, hey, get some glasses, you blind jackass. Oh, Tommy Winter coming into the box, taking a shot. Wow, what a strike. Tommy Winter, not known for his striking ability, slides down, fist pumping, everybody giving him a hug. Tommy Winter with a 42nd minute goal here. It's his first goal in League One. Oh my God. Fleetwood Town coming into the box. The defense trying to put some pressure on. Fleetwood Town finds a hole and there it is. Two to two. It's all equalized. Man, an exciting match unfolding here at Memorial Stadium. And there it is. End of the first half. Two to two. All equal here at Memorial Stadium. Bristol Rovers started down one to nil. Came back. Tied it up. Went ahead two to one. Fleetwood then comes back. And scores an equalizing goal as we go into the changing room. No doubt we'll have a Red Bull, maybe a cup of coffee, maybe a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Who knows? Wow. All right, second half getting underway here at Memorial Stadium. Two to two. Let's go, boys. Now Illich and his man bun. Lots of room down the field. What's he got? Doesn't want to play a ball that's offsides. He's going to stop. He's going to hold, play it inside, it's Ethan Allen, takes a strike, and oh, it's in the side of the goal. What a strike, Ethan Allen, bam, he's knocking it out of the park. Holy moly. Back in front, 3-2, to two, Bristol Rovers over Fleetwood Town. Let's go, boys. And there it is, end of the match. Bristol Rovers hold on to the victory here, 3-2 to two over Fleetwood Town. What a match by these boys. All right, Ethan Allen, 9.2 rating, gets the man of the match. Two goals, one assist. 
Tommy Winter, 7.9. He had a goal. Prince Nkrumah with an assist, 7.6 rating. That is awesome. Great showing by the boys. And I thought for a moment that Musa Ababio would get the man of the match. He was absolutely a superstar back there on the right side on the defense. Overall, great game from these boys and another victory. All right, in the Youth Academy, Mika Bikanich, his position change is now official. He's going to move to a left winger. Let's do that now. All right, well, there it is. He is now left winger. His overall does not change. It still remains at 60. And we'll keep him in the academy. Keep an eye on him. Might bring him in within the next couple months. All right, next match, Portsmouth-Bristol Rovers. Portsmouth in the bottom half of the table, currently sitting at 15th. Bristol Rovers in fifth position. We're going to go ahead and sim this match, see how we do. All right, there it is. Match was simmed. Portsmouth wins 1-0. Bristol Rovers couldn't get the ball in the back of the net. 47% possession. And you can take a look at the player ratings there. It looks like Wallers had a 6.8, and he was the highest there. Not good ratings from the Bristol Rovers. And if you look at Portsmouth, all their ratings are green. And that's going to win the game every time. Just saying. All right, final match of the month. It's Crew Alexandra versus the Bristol Rovers. We're going to play this match. Give you a good amount of highlights here. Well, let's take a look at the squad. All right, going with the default squad. Ethan Allen up top in the striker role. Moss sitting behind him in the cam role. We got Illich out on the left side. Prince Nakuma out on the right. In the middle, Nathan Moody as our center midfielder. Tommy Winters, our defensive midfielder, and our back line, Adewamo on the left, Elbasir and Stephenson holding down the middle, and Ababio out on the right side. In between the sticks, as always, it is the Bond villain, Andreasen. Let's get on the pitch. Take on Crew Alexandra. All right, rain falling here on the pitch. It is the Bristol Rovers versus Crew Alexandra. It's a home match at Memorial Stadium, playing in the wet grass with the rain coming down. And now is the perfect time to ask yourself the question of the day. Are you subscribed to the Overly Gaming Project? If the answer is no, stop what you're doing right now. Go get a cup of water and splash yourself in the face with it. Okay, I'm kidding. Don't splash yourself in the face with a cup of water. You might get some water in your eye, trip and fall and hit your head. And nobody wants that. But subscribe to the channel and do it now. And then hit that bell notification so that you're notified of all the content coming out. And don't forget, hit the like button. Doesn't even matter if you don't like the video. Just hit it. You have to. It's part of YouTube rules. And leave a comment down below. Let me know. Let me know anything. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't even matter what you say. All right, here we go. Bristol Rovers kicking off against Crew Alexandra. Coming off of a win. Bristol Rovers are getting hot here in the month of September. Let's go, boys. Oh, speaking of hot, there's Moss. Moss going to play it off. It's Allen. Top of the box. Takes a shot. Oh, it's off the sidebar. Oh, how unlucky is that? Starting off in the first three minutes of the match, Ethan Allen takes a shot. And it goes off the sidebar. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Crew Alexander fighting on the outside. I thought we were in a good position there. They're able to kick the ball into the middle of the box and the defense is on the wrong side of the ball. Oh, and the player is able to knock it right past Andreasen for a goal. Take a look here. Great defense coming in and it just looks like Elbasir is out of position just a little bit there as that ball comes in. Oh, Crew Alexander plays a great position battle. Steps in front of Elbasir and just shoots the ball low and to the right of Elbasir. And that is a goal. Chris Long, what a jerk. All right, down one to nil here against Krill Alexander. Can we battle back? We've shown that we have the resilience to do it. Let's go, boys. All right, into stoppage time here, end of the first half. Well, Stephenson challenged. And that is gonna be it. Ref blows the whistle, and it's gonna be one to, to nil. Crew Alexandra in the lead here over Bristol Rovers. Oh man, there's Elbasir. He knows he made a mistake, knows he's responsible for that goal. He's apologizing to his, to his teammates, and he's gonna to have to do a lot of apologizing to Teddy Bailey in the changing room. Perhaps he's not gonna get a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. The rest of the team will, and he'll just have to sit in the corner with his hands folded. All right, here we go. Second half getting underway. Crew Ale Alexandra kicking the ball off. And right away, what a boneheaded pass as they give the ball right to the Bristol Rovers. Tommy Winter in the middle. Oh, he plays a great ball. It's Moss coming into the box. Takes a shot and squeaks it past the keeper. What a strike there. And there is Moss saying, hey, come on, everybody. 
Oh no, please don't do that dance. Hiya ho uh, hiya ho uh. Oh, it's an awful dance. The fans hate that dance. And that's fine. But take another look at this. Great piece of football there. Moss comes into the box, takes his time, lures the keeper out, and just little blooper right into the side of the goal. And there's Teddy Bailey. He's got his coat on. It's pretty chilly out and rainy. One to one here. Bristol Rovers even with Crew Alexander. Let's go, boys. Oh, Crew Alexander, top of the box, takes a shot. Oh my God. What a rocket. And they blast that one right past Andreasen into the back of the net. <sighs> Looking into the camera like a bunch of big doofuses. Their fans are going crazy. Take another look here. Defense is just standing there. The ball comes in top of the box. Oh, Elbasir does not challenge. And there is the ball. Rocketed right past Andreasen. Just couldn't stretch out long enough. There's Teddy Bailey saying, Elbasir, I'm going to punch you in the face. But let's go, boys. All right, substitution coming in. Pardo coming onto the field. Nathan Moody coming off the field. We're going to push Moss back into the center midfielder role and put Pardo in the center attacking midfielder role. See if we can get a spark into this offense here. Now Prince Nkrumah, side of the field, beats his man. He's going to turn and come inside. Oh, he's going to lay it off. Great ball to Ethan Allen. Find some space. Gets held up. Takes a shot. No one is in the back of the net. All oh, right at the 90th minute. Ethan Allen doing some cartwheels, gymnastics, gets tackled to the field. Everybody jumps on top and they're slapping him in the face and giving him a wedgie, I think. Take another look. Prince Nkrumah cuts inside. Ethan Allen getting his jersey tugged, fights off the pressure, and a left-footed strike right into the side of the net. He squeaked that in between the sidebar and the keeper. What a precision strike by Ethan Allen. And Teddy Bailey's fired up and he's screaming, ha! Ah! Wow, 90th minute starting in stoppage time here. Even up the match, two to two. Let's go, boys. And there it is, the final whistle blows. Crew Alexandra gives up a late goal. Ethan Allen with the equalizer, and we come away with a point here, which feels just like a victory. Well, take a look at this. Ethan Allen with an 8.4. Charlie Moss with an 8.0 rating. I mean, these guys are working hard up top. Ethan Allen, probably the man of the match here for us. Let me know in the comments down below, who would your man of the match be? Would it be Ababio with a 6.9 rating? <laughs> All right, Ibrahim Caradiola, we switched him to a right midfielder, I guess last episode, the episode before that, I don't know. Took a while, but now it's ready to take place. Let's change him to a right midfielder. Bam, there it is. His overall does not change, still 51 overall rated. Ibrahim Caradiola, now a right midfielder. And take a look at the standings here. It is the end of September. We've made it through the month. And Bristol Rovers are now in seventh position here with 18 points. Only four points out of first place. Not doing too bad here with our first season in EFL League One. Teddy Bailey's job should be secure. And in the next episode, we are going to get into the month of October. Starting it off with a youth squad update report. And then we're going to have a match against the Forest Green Rovers, one of my favorite teams. And also one of my favorite series was Sparring DK a few years back to the Forest Green Rovers Youth Series. And it was absolute fire. Go check it out on his channel, Sparring DK's links in the description down below. A couple years ago, Forest Green Rovers. It was absolutely awesome. One of my favorite youth series of all times from him. We've got six total league matches here in October. We're gonna try and get through all of them in the next episode. If we can't do that, we might sim a couple. We're gonna play as much as we can, get these boys some experience. And on the third of the month, as always in a new month, we are gonna get a new scouting report back, see if there's any new youth talent that can be brought in to the Youth Academy here to help us continue to grow. And that is awesome. All coming up in the next episode. I want to thank you guys for all of the love, all the support the channel gets. Keep watching the videos. Keep subscribing to the channel. Hitting the bell notification so that you're notified of all the content coming out. Keep hitting that like button. Keep leaving the comments. Doing everything that you guys are doing. But most importantly, thank you for letting me be a part of your day. It means a lot. 
and we are going to see you right back here in the next video.